All right, hello and welcome to episode three of Magic the Gathering Arena. So on our last episode, we explored Boros a little bit by making our starting red deck adapt a little bit of white. So we are not going to continue evolving that deck right now. Instead, we're going to go back to a clone of Raiding Party. So I've cloned the original deck and... We're actually going to change this because I thought about it and I think it's kind of important to explore how you merge different colors as a part of this series. And so we're going to be going ahead and doing that. So yeah, basically we've gone back to our little starting deck. We were, we are going to be taking out basically the same things. Uh, as well as that and so we've got 10 slots again and what else what else did we take out hey we already have unleashed fury last time uh this time i think we're gonna get rid of crash through and so we're gonna do the same level of splash only this time instead of doing a white splash we are gonna go ahead and move on to is it by splashing blue and <laughs> So what we did with the white when we splashed it is we focused on giving our guys some removal in the form of Vanishing Light, as well as buffs and combat tricks in the... Uh, where is it? In Phalanx Tactics. So that gave us the ability to spike our goblin power up, as well as just get rid of threats. So, instead of what we're going to be doing is going to blue for this version. And I'm just kind of thinking of what would be an interesting way to do blue and still keep our goblins mostly intact. Because uh, we want to remove about the same number of cards as before. And we do want to stay on the cheaper side and not do, you know... Don't do not do things like this where it's going to cost us lots of blue to keep things up and running. Uh, let's see. It has to help our goblins. But something does well with the goblins. Sorry, it's just a bit of thinking to this. So we could go flying, which gets rid of the issue our goblins have been having of not being able to get through. And we could do unsummon, which unsummon is a wonderful blue card to run. Uh, we do also need land. Let's go ahead and get our six lands. Uh, do we actually have any Good lands. No, we just got the salt water, which gaining life at the expense of speed, not worth it for goblins. All right. Um, yeah. So now that we have this, what I'm thinking, we're definitely going to keep this around. But we're actually going to change the way our goblins work. Because we want, we still want that buffing ability. We want our creatures to be able to suddenly go kaboom. <laughs> and a quick and easy way to do that. We also just don't have that many cards, so it makes it a little difficult. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Storm Strike here. Because first strike can be rather unexpected. And we are up two cards. Right, because I only took out two cards. Um, honestly, we might do this. Let's try running that. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, it's the is it raid. It's not really an is it deck. It's just, that's just the colors. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, 
do our five matches today or you know we'll see how it goes <laughs> because we are getting close to the Caladime launch and so I am going to be recording a lot of episodes to post up prior to that so it's going to be interesting when Caladime launches because it'll change a lot I want to try and get through a lot of this kind of like preset stuff um I think we're gonna go with our golf. Yeah. That way people think we're a blue deck. And then we can surprise them with goblins. <laughs> no one expects the goblin inquisition. Ooh, we could actually be tricky here. Uh yeah, so we're not gonna attack. Because we are going to get... Yeah, oh. Well, I wish we had a shock. So we're hoping that he thinks we can't... Oh, man. Makes that guy a 3-3 already. Jeez. So hopefully he'll attack with Impassioned Orator, in which case we can Storm Strike. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that was a waste of our time. Um, hmm. Yeah, goblins first. Smack him. Because otherwise, that hallowed priest is gonna annihilate us. But he doesn't have trample, which is a good thing. Although he is green, so he could potentially gain trample. Um, I think I can take three. Yeah, and he doesn't have anything in stun. Yep, yeah, I know, your creature's getting bigger. That's terrifying. Alright, so... Let's come down to this. What we'll do... Yeah, we'll throw out Raid Bombardment. And... Yeah, we'll all at attack except for one. We'll attack with these two essentially. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> now, hopefully, he draw he tries to block my goblin with his orator because it won't die. It's fine. Your orator is fine. Don't block with the tree. No, go to the orator. No blocks. Okay. Man, he is cautious. Yeah, he's not going to attack with the orator ever. Even when it seems perfectly safe. So we'll just get an extra body out there. Because that's what we need more than anything. You have a pacifism? No, he's looking at his own creatures. Uh, yeah. Four is a little much. I'm going to say no. That is the way I want to use my mana. Good work. Take some extra goblins. Um, yeah, no downside. So hopefully he blocks with the orator. That would be optimal for us. Come on. You, do you want to take all that damage? Are you sure? There we go. And the orator's dead. No, oh, and I get to scry one. I didn't even see that. Uh, no, I don't want a mountain. I have enough mana, please. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so I'm debating if we should just take a hit for four. Does that mean? So, okay. Raid bombard when I assume. Yeah. Yeah, with that, we're not going to take a hit. <laughs> oh, and a pacifism. Ah, come on, you know you want to do it. Um, Yeah, we're just going to take the hit. It's just four damage. Brings us down to even with him. It means we don't lose a goblin. He's tapped out, so we get to hit him even harder. Yeah. 
kind of wish those guys had haste. Or whatever. Five damage. He gets to hit us for four if I allow it. Because he won't be able to disable both of our cadets, I don't think. Hopefully he uses up all his mana and texts and taps at that carry out. That would be optimal. Yeah, there's one. Okay, so I got one blocker left. Are you going to get to do four? Nope. Nope, you're passing. That's, um, that's an interesting strategy. Uh, to all out attack or not to all out attack. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yet yeah, he has to block. So I'm assuming I'll lose the nest robber and one of my little goblins, which means he'll have three HP. And with this many attackers, yeah, we win the game. Unless he pacifies or banishes something else, we win. He likes whatever he saw. It's not a, it's never a good sign. Oh, okay. Well, that was a pretty good game. We didn't really get to see any of our blue have any effect though. Ooh, we did just get a fact open. Um, let's take a look. Ah, uh, Roiling Vortex. Perfect. Right. Huh. Is that a first? No, that's a second copy of that. Each player's upkeep deals one damage to them whenever a player casts a spell. If no mana was spent, ooh, your opponents can't gain life this turn. Man, just press that button whenever they start to gain a ton of life. Just be like, nope, never mind. You don't get that. Alright, let's continue on. So that's one win. Although, it's debatable if we deserve that one. <laughs> right, so let's see. Uh, you have Death Touch, eh? Um, yeah, it's in straight. Um, hmm. I'm thinking we shock the Karyad. Because, no. <laughs> um, I don't care if you have Death Touch, honestly. Oh, okay. We, uh, literally broke him. We killed, we killed his mana dork and we broke him. <laughs> Woo! Alright, next match. But yeah, so just playing aggressive, that's your goal. Get rid of their options and just slow them down. Because that shock didn't cost me a whole lot, it cost me a card and one mana. Versus that cost him a mana throughout the rest of the game. So it just put us at a nice little advantage, and he decided it wasn't worth it. <laughs> I'm sure he was short on something in his hand. Uh, we can work with this. We just have to draw a land in the next two turns. That is not a land. Uh, we'll go Nest Robber. We really like to go fast. Boop him in the face. All right, well, that's not good. <laughs> At least we can move them again. But we got land screwed. Okay, you're gonna tap that for green, I see. Hmm, so he could have played that as a planes. 
Search library for basic land. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so he is a white green deck, so he's probably got that stupid horse. I would imagine. My turn. Really, really need some land, guys. So, yeah. We we did we did decide to only run twenty lands, so it's kind of my fault. <laughs> but still. Okay, that's my five. You need seven for that. Uh, that is the stupid horse. Can't do anything with it. Could just put it back in his hand, though. I think, yeah, put it back in his hand. Go away. No horse for you. Finally. Alright, raid bombardment. Because we have two attackers. Are you going to play the horse again? I feel like you're going to play the horse again. No, okay. You could still play the horse, though. Yeah, there's the horse. Alright, um, could I get... Hmm. Yeah. Let's attack. I hope we get to shock the horse. Yeah, we get to shock the horse. Screw your horse. And we'll bring out a bird. Probably should have attacked with just the cadet. Because then the cadet would have died. We would have got a free goblin. The horse would have died. But we got to do one damage. So, eh. Alright, two, one, one humans. Okay. Well, I'm going to get to create two goblins. <laughs> He's looking at the beanstalk giant. He's like, oh, I could have had a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> Instead, I did that. Ah, uh, yes. You got to kill my bird. But now you don't have a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> Which I would have had no way at all to deal with. Uh, especially with that. What is your instant that you're holding? You can block him and you lose a citizen and I just get another token. There we go. I'd really like to start playing these. <laughs> but instead I just have just goblins on the field already. Are you going to attack? I have a 2-2. Two -two. Are you going to play your 7-7? Seven -seven? Because I could draw... There's the 7-7. Seven, seven. Can I draw a unsummon now? That's what I would like. Nope, that's not helpful. More goblins. Um... Hmm. If we go in now, we suicide and lose two goblins. So, we're going to wait. He'll swing the 7-7 seven, seven at us. What is this? It's a 2-2 two -two with a tap to get plus one, plus one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. We'll have more goblins, though. And his guy's an 8-8 now. Doesn't have trample, though. Come on. Combat? Are you going to attack? Uh, I think we could just take a hit. It's fine. Hit me. No, 
of the debate is how many of my creatures is he gonna block? <laughs> uh, he's got three blockers. Which means I'm gonna get through with four damage. And then I get through with four damage next turn. But he's gonna no have no blockers. Uh, yeah, kill, kill both. Did you double block? Okay. That seems foolish. Hmm. I have to block, because he could giant growth, potentially. Yeah, even if he deploys... Hopefully he chooses the beanstalk giant, because that would be the best for us. I don't care if he has two eight eights, he's still dead. So we have eight creatures, which means we can lose five of them, essentially. I, th I think we... Hmm. Okay. Do you have another buff, is the question. That doesn't have haste. That also doesn't have haste. That also doesn't have haste. Okay. You're... You're still dead, sir. We, we will buff this goblin, though. <laughs> and good game! That was actually a really well-fought match. Uh, McAllister, you did awesome. If you ever watch this. <laughs> that was just pure luck. Alright, on to the next one. I am going to just check the stats at this point really quickly yeah it does not update very often I think I have to like close out of this thing in order for it to update the stats or I have to exit the game who knows um yeah tin street I guess Nice. Okay, perfect. Yeah, ten straight. And another white and green deck. Great. So, I wonder if it's that adventure thing people are seeming to enjoy. Yes, it is a goblin. <laughs> I do like that we have two combat tricks already. Stupid horse. Uh, I think we're gonna be a bit tricky. Um, Raptor, go. Ha! You fool! Uh, uh, yeah, I wanna land. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that mountain. Good work, bird. You have done... Oh, I forgot the Tin Street! No! <laughs> Crap. Errors were made. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, so he has flying now. Which is super annoying. You can't attack, just... Okay, um... Yeah, bird go. See if we can do a twofer. 
Oh my god, you're an idiot. Buddy. We just did this. Bird OP. We could have played this. We could have played this before. <laughs> we could have got like one extra damage. Oh well. Whatever. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. I I don't know. I don't know about this. Screw it. <laughs> you can only block one of you, it'll probably be the bird. I'm sorry, bird. You have done you have done honorably in combat. <laughs> and then these guys get to attack, and then him and this one's clone, and then the two clones. Oh no, the raid bombardment. Half of our damage. <laughs> Well, I like that it's at least a different white and green deck that we're fighting. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, now you can just hit me. That's fine. Raid bombardment. Bombarding party. Free goblin. Um. See if he hits us for six, and then he hits us for six again, we'll kill him. Hmm. I think we actually won this. Would really love an unsummon though. Just so that we have less casualties. Okay. And unsummon would still be the best. Okay. I was... I was already gonna let you hit me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, sir, I'm so sorry. Wait. Wait. Oh, no, wait. Wait, no, we're dead. We're totally dead. Aren't we? No, we're alive. Six... Yeah, so he has to kill us this turn. Because if I get to attack with anything, he dies. Okay, destroy all. Um, you, you realize that included your own creature, right? Well, that was unexpected. I need to draw a bird. Or a shock. Uh, what's my chance to draw a shock? 9%. And I have a... Where is it? 4% chance to draw a bird. So we have a 12% chance to kill him right now. Okay, well, it's, it's not the bird I was talking about, but it, I, it'll do. What you got, buddy? I don't think you got something that'll kill me. This is, this is like a really pitched battle. I love how I like, oh no! Oh no! You, ah! <laughs> what is that even? Pri okay, so it's called Primal Might. Let's go look that card up. I've never seen that before. It like buffed his creature and then he got to attack with it. Uh, crafting mode. Primal Might. Huh. Target creature control gets plus X plus X and then it fights. Wow. Okay. That's a really cool rare. Huh. Alright. Well, that's our first loss. I think we're... That was what? Match four or five? Let's take a look at the stat page. Still hasn't updated. Would really like it if it did. <laughs> um, no. Oh, hey, we finally get to see these. Man, this is not a good match. I, I think we are gonna have a bad day. <laughs> I 
what he's choosing whether he's keeping seven. Oh no. All right. Um. Let's let's pretend we're a blue deck. <laughs> I'm gonna get some scry. He liked whatever he saw. No point pretending we're a blue deck anymore. Reveal our true isitiness. Alright, um I guess raid bombard then already. We'll just we'll just start with that. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Um Hmm. I guess nest robber. We're not gonna attack into that, because we're not insane. Can't attack unless you can Oh, he can't attack with that. Oh okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay, now he can. Uh, no, we're not blocking that. Uh, where do you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn? So he... Hmm. I'm kind of thinking we want to shock this thing. And then send the bird to hit him. Oh, we're probably going to want to get the next Raid Bombardment out, because this is... No, it's an instant. Okay, I thought it was a sorcery. I don't know what card we had last, that one game. I was like, oh no, this is a sorcery. No! That was just silliness. Uh, he, he is clearly perplexed. This is kind of cool, though. I like that it's... It's a really powerful card for three... Oh god. He just has lots of big critters. That just have a real strong effects. Um Yeah. I we're getting just screwed on mana. And I don't think we can actually fight this. Yeah, that's nine day. Oh, God. Uh. Okay, finally. It's not gonna help us though. Um, so I can either play this and have blockers and die to trample. <laughs> uh, is he the only one to trample? Yeah, no, this thing has trample too. And he has the mana to buff it, so. Gah. We're so dead. Like, we are just entirely dead. <laughs> these things are really strong. Like, I want these. <laughs> for each creature, you control a power for greater, including itself. So, like, it's already taps for green. They can tap for three right now. Like, that creature is awesome. He can't kill us right now, though. We are going to kill the Warden of the Chain, though. Are you... you, you still thinking if you want to send the Brushwag? Okay, you didn't send the Brushwag. So we're just going to do this. We're going to take one damage, and we're going to kill your Warden. Hmm. Never mind, we are dead. <laughs> we are very dead. 
What? Okay, what was the point of that? You you already won. <laughs> Yeah, a gruel is just strong. It, it's much stronger than a little goblin egg. <laughs> uh, all right, how many how many matches was that? I don't know, and the tracker is just not updating. What if I? Can I just do this? No, it's it's just not keeping track right now. Okay. Alright, one more. Because I think that's five. And that'll be a 40 minute episode, so. But yeah, generally I wouldn't do Is It This Way. I much prefer cards like Eye of the Storm and just building a crazy stack of spells in exile or just silly effects um there's one of them it just went out of rotation with the release of core 2021 which um oh, what was it i i don't remember it was like six cost and it was like uh whenever you play a spell copy it for each a non whenever you play a non-creature spell copy it for each non-creature spell played before it or something like that it was like instants and sorceries only but so it was just a highly entertaining little combo to play also we've been in the queue for over a minute i've never seen mtg take this long <laughs> but yeah um so that, that's how i prefer to play is it it's just crazy combo decks and just stuff that causes a lot of repetition of actions. Uh, what? Okay. I'm, you know, I'm not going to count that match. That one didn't count. <laughs> Rina, I don't know what you're doing. That one doesn't count. <laughs> The game is just like, nah, no match today. It's like, uh, why? So you have an Unsummon, Nest Robber, two Shocks. Yeah, no, it's a Keeper. You can keep that. You're red, I'm red. Oh, hey, look, it's a Gruel deck. Wonderful. Gotta love Gruel. So, the question is, does he have a shock? He does not. So he has no instance in his hand that cost one. Because if he did, we would know because it would have paused. Yeah, so he is just a big stompy stompy critter gang. Um, yeah, let's do combat tricks. Mm, this is not the combat trick I thought it was, actually. Uh, huh. Do we do this or this? I feel like this is more valuable, and I think we should just do this. Up up the bird. Just a noble sacrifice. <laughs> you fought well, bird. We could have done double shocks. Uh, God, it's just we're fighting like the same deck. Again. Would have preferred to keep Unsummon available, guys. Should have manually done my mana so that I could use Unsummon. Uh, never mind, that's dying right now. I, I want to shock you when you go to combat. No. Killing this. Yep, you get to hit me for four. I know. I know. It's okay. Okay. Finally get a bird. And we'll just leave it at that. Oh, 
Oh my god. Alright, yeah, I think we're just gonna put that back in your hand. And then we're gonna hit you. E yeah, well, no, we don't wanna double down on that. That's fine. So we are gonna get hit for eight, probably. No, four. Why am I thinking eight? Can't hit us for eight. <laughs> unless, unless, no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna, we'll shock the bully lag. Get rid of it. Just deal with it. Save us one HP. Unless, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Just buff the opponent's creatures. <laughs> uh, okay, what is with the shocks? What is going on? Oh, God. Okay, whatever. Yeah, just hit him. Go, little Zephyr Gull, go. We're gonna take eight damage. Like, where are, where are all of the goblins? Well, we're gonna shock that, I think. Not that it means a whole lot. Right to help. Uh, well, that's gonna hurt the face. Yep. You can't do that if I do it first. Uh, yeah, we were dead. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> that that was just unlucky. This deck evidently can't handle Gruel. That's what we've learned today. So we're gonna take a break. Um, I'll try. We'll be trying out a different color. I believe we're gonna be going red black to see Ravnica. Not Ravnica. What? Rakdos. <laughs> we're gonna go Rakdos so we'll be right back uh, and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow have a great day, bye